Manchester United fans are all worried about David De Gea joining Real Madrid this summer. Just like we were in 2015 when a fax machine saved us on deadline day, fans are concerned that the world's best goalkeeper will be moving back to Spain this summer. And there's been plenty of activity this week as far as his future is concerned. Now, on May the 30th, there was a clear brief from Manchester United to the British press. We are confident of keeping David De Gea. If you look here, we've got reports from the BBC, Manchester Evening News, Sky Sports, The Guardian, Daily Mail, The Mirror, all simultaneously on the evening of May the 30th, reporting that Man United are confident of keeping David De Gea. As I said, a clear brief from the club. They are staying firm that De Gea is staying in Manchester, and Sky Sports is saying that he's happy in Manchester. Good news, right? Less than 24 hours later, on May the 31st, Sky Sports are reporting that Manchester United have rejected a £60 million bid from Real Madrid for David De Gea. Q delirium, the inevitable that nobody wanted to happen, had happened. Manchester United have received a world record bid twice what the current world record bid is for a goalkeeper. Was David De Gea joining Real Madrid or was there even a bid? Because as soon as that came out, you see Simon Stone from the BBC, you see Rob Dawson from ESPN, you see James Ducker from The Telegraph. As you can see here, all of them have said United are confused to these reports because they have not received a bid. They have not rejected a bid because they haven't received one. What is going on? I mean, if you think about it, Real Madrid are playing Juventus in the Champions League final on Saturday. Why would they put in a world record bid for a goalkeeper 72 hours before the biggest game of their season? What would that do to the confidence of Keylor Navas, who has, up until this point, had quite a good season? It will be a strange move, to say the least. And maybe Sky's sources are Gilliam Balag, or Ballbag, as we refer to call him. Uh, pff, he's had a lot of misses in the past with Manchester United, and maybe this is another one of his major misses, because as soon as the story came out on Sky, it was refuted by The Telegraph, the BBC, ESPN, established reputable journalists were confused. Man United were confused. This bid never came in. That being said, I do expect there at some point this summer for there to be a world record bid from Real Madrid for David De Gea. Maybe it has already happened and maybe this is a true story, but it would be very, very strange timing with the whole Champions League final coming up. And my take on this situation is quite simple. I don't want Manchester United to sell David De Gea, even if it means getting Tony Cruz in return or Rafael Varane. I don't care. I want David De Gea in goal. He is the world's best goalkeeper. At 26, he is going to be Spain's number one for another decade. The last time we sold one of the best players in the world in Cristiano Ronaldo to Real Madrid, coming into his prime, we got 80-odd million and we thought it was a great deal. Really? That was the bargain of the century. Ronaldo has been banging in goals. He's got over 50 goals in like six consecutive seasons at Real Madrid. It is phenomenal how many goals he has scored since he's left. And all United fans have felt shortchanged, I suppose. And I think the same thing would happen with David De Gea, especially when you look at the price. £60 million for David De Gea. Sounds like quite a bit. But then you see Man City going to try and sign Benfica's Edison for around the £40 million mark, a keeper who's in the Portuguese league. This is David De Gea we're talking about, the best goalkeeper in the world. Manchester United's number one, Spain's number one. £60 million, try £120 million. It's easily over 100 million. In this crazy market of ridiculous prices for players, you really think that you're going to get David De Gea for 60 million pounds? Not a chance, Real Madrid. As I've said, I really don't want David De Gea to leave this summer. He stayed under David Moyes. He stayed under two seasons of Van Gaal and the first year of Jose Mourinho. We're now back in the Champions League where players like David De Gea belong. The elite level of football, the creme de la creme. That is what he wants to win. He's now won the Europa League with Manchester United. He wants to win the Champions League with Manchester United. But will he stay? Jose Mourinho, he sells players for one of two reasons. One, he doesn't want them. Like why matter coming to Manchester United. Two, they don't want to be at the club anymore. Memphis Depay, Morgan Schneidlin. If David De Gea leaves, it's going to be for one of those two reasons. But Mourinho is not going to want to get rid of the best goalkeeper in the world. It's going to be whether De Gea wants to go back to Spain this summer. We all know it's an inevitability that he will go back to Spain at some point in his career. I just hope it's not this summer. And, speaking hypothetically here, if it is this summer, Manchester United have got to make sure that we get 
a major, major bid for him. Man United in recent years, I say in recent years, in a long time, we've been bad at getting good prices for players in the market. Jose Mourinho changed that in January. We got nearly 40 million for Morgan Schneilin and Memphis Depay. If De Gea leaves, I want it to be over 100 million pounds. And I really don't want him to leave. But if he does, it's got to be on Manchester United's terms. But what's your take on this whole situation? Do you think the Man United could cope next year with Sergio Romero in goal if we get a massive, massive bid for De Gea and maybe a world-class centre-half in front of him? Let me know your take on this whole situation. What price would you put on David De Gea if you were Jose Mourinho? Uh, I hope this offered a little bit more insight into the whole David De Gea situation and these stories coming out of Sky Sports, as we always do. Please drop a like on the video. It does help. It's, there's tons of you like, guys and girls all liking the videos now, and it's fantastic. Building a community, and that's what we want to see. But as I said, drop a like on the video, subscribe to United People's TV if you're new, and there's a couple of videos here if you want to watch them. Enjoy yourself.